Hey guys, we are here with Secret, and she is getting ready to deliver. Um, so we've got some towels out here. We've got three towels out here. Four. What? We can make two with four. We can make. Graydon says. Need to be we can be efficient out here in the bar. Okay. Um, are you gonna go? Could you go put the collars on those two kids? Okay. Um. All right, so Secret is one of the oldest does on the property. Um, she's done this quite a few times, and she has a track record of throwing all black kids. So, I don't know who we bred her to, but black. it's not a black baby. So, there's news. All right, so um, uh, I'm assuming by the fact that we have two front hooves, we have a normal presentation. Yes, Ashton? So we got a normal presentation. She's drying off the nose there, passing the towel back to Sam. And it's a sun gal. Okay, so you can see she's got some good contractions. She's not a super loud doe. Um, and this baby doesn't look ridiculously large, uh, which is nice. Uh, I'm gonna move this just a little bit over here. Ashton's gonna do that. And then gonna go ahead and get this baby starting to be dried. This one was probably in a weird position in the womb, you can see. Mm, yum. Ashton's got slimed. Secret's gonna come say hi. I'll lick the towel and the baby. There we go. So this one looks kind of like a girl. I wonder who the dad is. I didn't look. Hey, Graydon, who's Secret bred to? Tesseract. Okay. Um, interesting. Boy. boy. Okay, I was wrong. Um, interesting that we got a sun gal out of Tesseract and Secret. Um, I would have expected either black or chamoise, like parents, but that's coloring for you. It can skip generations and have all sorts of recessive genes hiding in there that can make them all sorts of interesting colors. All right. We're going to want more towels, yes? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sam's gonna go ahead and spread out the next towel. I'm probably. What? You're gonna share with the group? You're just mumbling. I'm just mumbling. Okay. Um, all right. I'll, once we're done, once she's done drying, you good with that one? I'll go ahead and take over drying off this baby. I'm gonna move it out of secret way a little bit. <laughs> drying her off or him off. And Ashton's going to check for a second. I'm assuming she has at least a second. She does. Uh -huh. Um, fail? Fail. Major fail. <laughs> Halfway success and fail. <laughs> Sam just, you know, chucking towels across the room. Uh, Graydon wants credit. <laughs> <laughs> he was the one who threw Is them. There one more? Is there yeah, there's one here. Does he He's a sun gal. That makes sense. Why? Yeah? Steven. Who's Steven? <laughs> you got, you got this baby's granddad. Both of his, both of his granddad. Yeah. Is it a he or she? It's a he. Wow. Why did I know that? What? Why did I know that? I don't know. After the last kids, it looks feminine enough to be a, right? a girl. Right. The last kids were teals, and they are... Very <laughs> masculine looking. <laughs> Very masculine looking. So we got a proper presentation. So we got another proper presentation. And she's just guiding those hooves up into... Oops, I'm just focusing on secrets at her. Yep. Uh, so this one still looks like it's in the bubble. Um, so the, is that correct? Mm -hmm. So the bubble is not popped, um, which is always a good thing. Um, 
if, if it does pop, that's not a problem. Oh, there it goes. Um, if it does pop like that, not a problem at all. Um, but uh, that extra pressure in a uh, circular motion can help um, even thing or apply pressure evenly to the cervix and uh, the vaginal opening. So it can help the babies come out a little bit smoother. This one's got a fun color leg already that we're seeing. So I'm, uh, that looks like a broken sham. That's a broken sham, was it? <laughs> okay, so <laughs> waiting on a push there. Oh, this one reminds me of Harley. <laughs> color wise. Harley. What? Not Harley. <laughs> Graydon says, not Harley. <laughs> Just color wise. Just color wise. <laughs> Tio's kids? Yeah. Tio's kids are standing. They were born like 15 minutes ago. Um, Alright, so that's twins. The, that, one, that one looks more like a boy. But watch it be a girl. No, that's a boy. No. That's a boy. I don't know, you're just over here like this. Do the, do the creep. Right. Ashton's making sure that she doesn't... Uh, when, you, when you're assisting in births, it, it would seem common sense to me, but maybe it's not to other people. Um, you don't want to get anything on the hand that you're introducing into the goat. Um, you wouldn't want to be putting bacteria or anything in there, so um, making sure that it's sanitary and that um, you're not introducing stuff into the uh, uterus is very important. So it does make for some interesting um, walking around, and when it's cold out, right now it's not too cold, but when it's super cold out, your hand starts to freeze inside that glove. <laughs> All right, we'll take this boy and get him over here so that I can start drying him off. Cause he's slimy. Ashton's, Ashton's reaching in for the third. Can you move that towel over the wet one? It's still wrapping around. Well, covered up the baby. There we go, it's close enough. Alrighty. Sam just holding on a secret. You got another proper presentation? Or sort of. Sort of. Right. So it's it's in a proper enough presentation that guiding it into a fully proper presentation won't be difficult. Um, specifically when you're a pro at Ashton. What color's that one? Hmm. It's black. It's black? Okay. I mean, we got one like the grandparents. We got one like their father. And now we just need one like her mother. It's mother. Sam says it's going to be a sun gal. I'll go with chamoise. Because? Um, because Tesseract tends to throw chamoises. Secret tends to throw black. Sun gal is a little bit random, honestly. I mean, yes, it is grandparents, but but um, the strongest gene pool is Stevens, would be the grandparent. Um, on the father's side, he always had chamoises. So I think genetically, the likelihood of a chamoise huh? is pretty good. Kind of Although, her father and her mother were both sun gals. Is that what he said? And, and her, and the father of these, his mother was a sun gal. So the grandparents, three of them are sun gals, one's a chamoise. But the That's father, but the father's a chamoise, and the mother's black. I can make a chamoise with a black get one of the sun gals. No, yeah. that's not how genetics work at all. No. Not even close. 
Okay. So uh, this baby's a little bit on its side, um, and so as she's guiding it up into the birth canal, um, she's having trouble keeping that leg in the correct place. So we got these two partially dried off. Still need a bunch of drying off to do. I'm just over here making sure that Secret doesn't sh side shuffle onto these babies. Oh, mm -hmm. she messed up our dry towel. Oh well. So obviously, we have no way of telling everything all these color guesses are just guesses. We have no, Ashton's not in there feeling this like, mmm, this, this one feels all black. Yeah, no, not how it works at all. But as soon as we see hooves, we have a, a decent, uh-oh. Black. It's not looking strong for me, but it's looking even less strong for Sam, so. Oh, oh, that was that looked, that looked sort of chamoise -y. Yeah, it's looking a little less black. <laughs> Good news for me. Watch as it's a coupe long and we're all wrong. <laughs> it looks like a shampoo. Come on. Okay, there we go. Who's right? It's me. <laughs> yes. He looks like a typical, or this one looks like a typical. <laughs> Uh, Tesseract, Steven, Descendant. So yeah. Fun. Um, there we go. So that's three so far. I would assume she's done, but Ashton, Ashton will go in to double check. Um, just because we don't we don't want any surprises, or surprises. Ashton just gave me the biggest, oh my gosh, you're a terrible person, shake of her head. So yeah, she does it quite well. I didn't get an eye roll though. It was just downright shake of the head. All right, so Secret's doing a good job of helping to dry this baby off. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure and just kind of hold her and apply some pressure to her chest so that Ashton can double check and make sure there's no fourth. Um, what Ashton would, would assume Ashton's gonna feel is a whole lot of placenta um, and then just kind of making sure there's not any hooves poking through that because there can be babies behind the placenta. So, all right. So she is done, is that a boy or girl? Boy. That's a boy, triplet boys. <laughs> there we go. Head one, two, and three. We'll go ahead and get these guys into the milk room. Um, Graydon, Graydon, can you come grab a baby? I was gonna pass it to you. Okay. And we'll leave Ashton to get all the towels. You remember which one is one and two? One with the fashy front leg is number one. one is that is correct. Number two, I mean. Yeah, so, yeah. That's number one. Yeah, that's two, that's three. Okay. Well, well, well. Triple boys. Really? Yep. Or what? We... Um, that doesn't make any sense. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We, but, okay. We have that. Um, right. Next up, we need to get these guys dried and seed and named and all sorts of fun stuff. And they're not small. Probably should have just given these guys some and then moved into 16 ounce bottles. Hmm. Yeah. Before I leave them all. Also, I'm thinking instead of using paper towels, can we just get a piece of paper? Paper towels? 
has backing for this tape because you can't see the name if you don't have a white backing. On the labels, you're saying? Mm -hmm. You always put a paper towel back on your neck. We just took a, like that notepad and cut the bottom two inches off of it. We have all these little you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. It's not hard to cut a bunch of papers. Like, that's super easy. And just to have a stack of them right there for us to. Or I don't know, maybe we change like the cards and we have our gold cards up in the circle somewhere. We could use those. Right. Yeah, that could work. Okay, we're gonna need three boys' names, and we have Buck, Buck, Buck out of Secrets, just Secret. So Graydon is in the process of feeding all of. Teal's babies, um, who were just born, like, 30 minutes ago, um, and there's three of them, one, two, three, so they're getting fed, and then these guys still need all of their stuff. Um, we said the dad is Tesseract, which is black, right, baby? So that refers to the collar color they will get. Um, black collars mean that the dad is Tesseract. And these guys, so I'm, I'm writing down all their information in our records book. Did you write down how many collars? Yes. Uh, one thirty. Okay. And we will need um, weights on these guys. Sun go. Broke. <laughs> Broke. All right, so there's all their information written out, um, except for their weights and their names, which obviously we don't know yet. Um, the white-legged one. The smaller one. All right, we'll go ahead and get some weights going on these guys. Benjamin's back. So number one weighs seven fourteen. Seven fourteen. I'm gonna forget that. Seven fourteen. And then next up we have eight fourteen for number two. Eight fourteen and number three. Oops, I missed. Back leg in there. Oh. Okay, well, that didn't work. 8, 14, and 10, 6 minus the bucket. 10, 6 minus 111. Which is eight five? Eight five nine ten. Yeah. Eight five. Is that correct? I better just do a, my eyesight is better than my math skills. We'll just put it that way. Oh my gosh, it did it again. You little schmuck. Hello. No, how did I do? Oh, cause duh. Yeah. 
Nope. It's 811, which is a lot more accurate. I was like, how, how did I do that math wrong? I think I was going from 12 and not 16. I think that would make sense. All right, so now I can write down those weights of 7, 14, 8, 14, and 8, 11. And next up, we will need names. Um, square, squeeze, ace. I'm just trying to think of S letters, S letters we haven't used before. Oh. When what? Squibble. What's in the sound? What? Squawk, squeak, squeal. Squeal. Squawk, squeak, and squeal? Hey. It does not sound manly, but. <laughs> <laughs> if they end up being loud, I'm going to be so pissed. Squawk, <laughs> squeak, and squeal. Um, okay. Squawk, squeak, and squeal. I'll put them in a different order, which never makes sense, but I don't. Yeah. Squawk is with an A. S Q U A C K I Z. Or is that squawk? Squelch. Well, and, and here's the real question. If we're going backwards, is... Why are we going backwards? How do you spell... How do you say you spell squawk? Right, which would theoretically mean you. Okay. Squawk, squeak, and squeal. Squeal is E N. Right. So it'd be squawk, squeal, and squeak. Which is E A. Which is theology. What's the difference between squawk and squeak? How do you spell them differently? Right. Squawk, I believe, is just an egg. I don't know. I don't know. I'm brain dead. <laughs> Write it down so I can see him. I'll know better if I can see him. So it should be uh, S-Q-U-A-C-K-I-Z. Squawk. Squeak. Squeak. That look does not look right at all. Squawk is going to have a W. Wait, wait. No, CK. CK is out of W. I didn't tell you to write squawk, but I told you to write it. That's okay. You did. <laughs> I don't know. Just, I just told you how to spell it. I wasn't listening. Are you okay? No. What's your deal? I, I was up and I was here until 11 and then got up at 4. Let's see. E-A. Um. Which one did you do? It'd be an L or a K, whichever one you didn't do. Like that? Yeah, I can't read here. That does look better. How about you just Google it? That's what the issue is. Squawk is with a W. Just Google it. It's with a W. Okay, just Google it. 
Because I knew it was A C K, but you put it in A Q U. So we could just spell it weird. That's not like swag. That's why. Swag. <laughs> oh gosh. It's a good thing we're just farmers, right? All right, did you get there, both seeing iodine done? Not iodine. Do they need to be trimmed? Nope, nope. What about the last one? Nope. Okay. There's that. But the both see is done, yes? I'm gonna go ahead and put, put it away. Is she done? She's warmed and dipped. Warmed and dipped. Alright, so we uh, dip her with just some uh, bleach water to make sure that things are sanitary before we would send her out. Um, Sam's finishing up feeding the last of Teal's kit. I'm assuming. No, there's, another one. there's another one after that. 714. Mm -hmm. Alright. Well, we're going to go ahead and sign off. We've got plenty to do today, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and start writing up collars and get, we're getting bottles done and stuff like that. So we'll see you guys in future videos. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day.